Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's the first time you're here, my name is Libo Rossi. I'm so happy that you stopped by. If you don't mind, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video before you leave YouTube today. And if you are a returning subscriber, hi. I just want you to know how much I appreciate you guys <laughs> right now in this time of everything that's going on with covid and everything in the world people are just losing their jobs right and left i feel like building your own business and that kind of thing is just so so important and although this is my hobby i pray that one day i will start to make an income from youtube and this is something i'm really passionate about and this is something that i really want to continue doing so if you enjoy following me please share my content and um, please subscribe if you haven't like i said and just interact with me that really helps out my channel in today's video i just needed to get that said in today's video we will be talking about week 22 of my pregnancy today i'm gonna try and stay upbeat and positive and talk about my symptoms that I have been experiencing. If you have followed my pregnancy journey, you know that the past few weeks have been quite rough. We did get some unexpected news and results back from the <clears throat> anatomy scan that we had done in week 20. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go back and watch those videos. Um, basically, we are still waiting for some test results and I'm gonna tell you later in the video what kind of test that I ended up doing. I was contemplating doing uh, amniocentesis, which is the kind of test where they take a big needle and they pinch your stomach and you, they uh, take a little bit of the amniotic fluid to test for any chromosomal abnormalities. And I also learned about another test which is non-invasive and it's a blood test that is called the harmony test, which is almost as safe, or not safe, but almost as accurate as an amniotic synthesis or something like that is the name of the of the test and um, I will tell you later which one I went with and when we're getting the results but I wanted to talk about my symptoms because I feel like they are just being put on the side and I know that many of you are here for that so my most uh, like how do you say prominent or biggest symptom that I have been experiencing is growth I feel like my belly has like gone from being a tiny little baby bump to a huge football and <laughs> you'll see it now in my in my belly shot as well and it's so funny because it's a truly a boy belly and uh, hold on how much i have like four minutes left and i need to make space okay i'm working against the clock here the light is disappearing i have no memory and i have no battery so this is gonna be so great <laughs> i have never been more stressed doing a video um, but yes, and with that growth comes round ligament pain and I've been experiencing round ligament pain quite a bit of a lot <laughs> in uh, this pregnancy, uh, even in the beginning I felt them. Um, but yeah, that's a bit uncomfortable and uh, as today for example when I laid down to take a nap I was feeling all the round ligament pain, pain on my right side and it was super uncomfortable and I turned to my other side to lie on my side where I felt the pain and I felt like it helped. So try and change your position in, if you are feeling uncomfortable in the bed. I know that it's recommended to sleep on your left side, but I mean either side if you're feeling uncomfortable. Um, try to not sleep on your back if you can invite it. Um, that just helps with the blood flow between you and baby. So <clears throat> that's my recommendation because that's where I'm read what I'm reading everywhere. Um, another symptom that I had, which is quite TMI, so if you're squeamish of bodily fluids, maybe don't listen. I've had a very noticeable increase of CM. If you don't, don't know what CM means, that means cervical mucus, uh, mucus. And it's so disgusting as it sounds. I basically need to line my underwears now because I feel like mm, <laughs> it's not comfortable. Let's just say that and uh, it makes me feel like I want to take multiple showers a day. Obviously I don't do that, um, but I wish I, I could. Um, I feel like my hair has 
gone through a positive change. I feel like I have less greasy hair, which is nice. I can get away with washing my hair only once a week and if I in between washes use dry shampoo a couple of, couple of times then I feel like my hair looks as good as it did the day before. So very happy about that. Uh, my skin has cleared up but I have realized because I've been very stressed these past few weeks that around my eyes my skin is starting to feel like a little extra dry I start to get like red patches underneath my eyes from the stress and I'm starting to get like the dark circles from lack of sleep and stress and that kind of thing but I'm trying to stay hydrated and I'm drinking a lot. I'm drinking a lot more than I used to do and I find that if I use my um, tumbler with um, metallic straw I can chug a lot more water than if I'm just drinking from a glass or a bottle. So that's a big tip. I don't know why I like it so much but it's like a craving almost. I need to have my water that way. Uh, if not, I'm not drinking. <laughs> um, I feel like my chest area has calmed down a little bit. I don't feel as much pain as I used to do and I, the only thing weird is that I'm not sure if I'm starting to leak a little bit or what's going on there because I, I find like... Hmm, <laughs> how do I put this? How do I phrase this without grossing you out? Basically when at night when I go to put lotion on myself um, I obviously um, put lotion on my belly, my hips and uh, the lady lumps <laughs> and doing that I realized that I had like um, some... Uh, the only thing I can uh, describe it as is like scabs like when you get a, a wound and when it starts to heal you get like a little dry scab <laughs> on top of it to, to protect the wound and for the body to heal underneath and then when that it's done it fall, falls off and it felt like I had something similar going on there and I don't know what the heck is going on there um, but it was the, a very very strange symptom and I feel like not very pleasant to have um, not very sexy <laughs> anyway I don't know if I can say that word here um, but anyway nobody else of course knows but now all of the, the internet knows and Caesar, I'm sure he's going to be very happy that I put that information out there. But nonetheless, it's what it is. Pregnancy is, is fun. Um, I have not been experiencing any, uh, any cravings, no aversions. The closest thing to a craving would have to be the cold water in my tumbler. Um, and baby is moving a lot. He is starting to have a pattern. So every time... I'm relaxing for the day, like when, midday when Natalie is taking her nap and I'm reading to her, he wakes up and he starts to move and when I go to bed at night he starts to move and when I sit down in the sofa at night, for like before I go to bed, he's always kicking around in there. So that's amazing. I have actually seen a kick from outside, or a few of them. I tried to record it, but it's difficult because they are so tiny. So I mean, for you it's difficult to see, but like, some of you actually saw on Instagram. So that makes me happy. Um, so baby movement is really, really getting noticeable. Um, many people, or many people, a few people have now felt it from outside. Natalie and Caesar have both felt it. I think my friend also have felt it, I'm not sure. Um, so that's nice, it makes me feel good. But now to the tests, because this is basically all the symptoms that I have been experiencing this week. Um, no nausea, nothing like that. A little bit tired, but that's probably the stress that I'm going through. Mm -hmm. So I did end up going with the Harmony test. I didn't feel like I wanted to take the risk. There is always a risk when you do some kind of testing in inside, you know, there was a 1% chance that I would miscarry if I did go ahead with the amniotic synthesis. I think I say it in Spanish, but I'm not sure. Um, the amniotic fluids test. And you didn't, if that test would come back completely normal saying that no, he's not, uh, you don't have to worry, he does not have some Down syndrome, he doesn't have anything. He's perfectly healthy and then uh, 48 hours I would start to miscarry it and I would feel like no, of course it would not be worth it. So I went the safe route and I paid out of pocket in a private clinic to be able to do the Harmony test. It was 
quite expensive if you ask me uh, everything is relevant but if you compare with our salaries here it was very expensive I'm not gonna tell you how much it was because I don't feel like that's any useful information for anyone but know that it was close to half our salary for a, a month so that's a big amount of cash to just put on that anyway we did it and uh, my family pitched in a little bit so I'm very grateful for that um, and without them I probably wouldn't have uh, I would have done it but it would have been more difficult so we are currently waiting for the results they should be in to at earliest tomorrow or uh, beginning of next week so praying that they come tomorrow praying that he is okay praying that um, yeah that the tests come back negative as they say so no chromosomal abnormalities i feel like he's very active i feel like it's a healthy pregnancy so i'm choosing to stay positive um thinking that he will be fine and that's all i'm not gonna think anything else um i have calmed down a little bit what regarding the nesting um i haven't been tackling many projects because every time i do any physical activity like cleaning or that kind of thing i start to get heavy contractions i get the braxton hicks contractions that are very regular to the point where i actually asked, asked my doctor when i have to go to the hospital and <laughs> when she told me i was like okay better that i don't think about it because if that's the case then i would have to go to the emergency because i had them for more than one hour and they were more than um or they were closer than 10 minutes apart as she said what they would have to be so I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop timing them because this is making me more stressed and that's why they're not stopping. So I recommend if you are battling with the Braxton Hicks contractions like I am, <clears throat> like I have been since week 18, uh, drink a lot of water, stay hydrated and try to rest as much as possible. That all, that's all you can do really. Um, <clears throat> and I feel like that's working. So that's gonna be my two cents for week 22. And I'm gonna give you a belly shot now, praying that my battery will let me. <laughs> so as you can see, the belly for week 22 is quite large if you compare with the other weeks. I haven't shown you for the past two updates, I think. Yes, last time I did it, but look how much I have grown in just one week. It's in the afternoon, so obviously when I wake up in the morning, I'm not as full as right now but I've had lunch but that was a few hours ago and it was not a very big lunch so this is basically what I look like after I wake up and start my day and uh, I feel like it's such a round belly I feel like I look like I have swallowed a football and uh, I think this is about the size I was with Natalie when she was born so it makes me a little bit scared the weight gain have been I have put on some weight so I have gained one and a half kilos since last time I checked my weight. So that means that I have gained in total 5.5 kilograms in my entire pregnancy. So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, I know that the pounds or the kilos are gonna start to pile on now. This is when he's starting to get more heavy and yeah, excited for what's to come. A little scared <laughs> because I feel so enormous, but yeah. If you enjoyed today's video friends, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you are pregnant too or anything that you want me to tell you in my next update or if you have any video requests or anything like that, please let me know and I will see you guys very very soon. I love you so much, take care, bye!